Let's say you want to take a shirt, right? A cat shirt or whatever the case may be. You go over to AliExpress, type in a few keywords that relate to that. You can scroll through and find the one that you wanted. First of all, what you're going to notice right off the bat is the amount of orders. How many total orders does this product have? Try not to sell products with over 20,000 AliExpress orders. AliExpress is primarily used for dropshipping. So if a product on AliExpress has a lot of orders, that means other dropshippers are selling it. I personally like products above 500 to 1000. The next thing you're obviously gonna notice is the price. Okay, you need to think about this because you might identify some products that you wanna sell, but the price just doesn't fit. You're not gonna have your margin for what you wanna do. If you wanna build a website for your business in less than 10 minutes, you should definitely try Strikingly. Strikingly is the most loved website and e-commerce builder by entrepreneurs. For just $8 per month, you will get unlimited free sites, you can connect custom domain, you'll get free SSL for custom domain, and free domain for a year. Check out Strikingly using the link below. Let me give you an example for this right here. Now you see there is a new user bonus. We can get this at $0.01 only. This is a good deal. Now, basing it on its usual price, you want to sell it times 4 for around $24.99 and say that it's normally $47.99. It's a good range, leaving your margin for marketing as well as your profit. And now you do free shipping. This is a whole another thing you need to be looking for. So right around 2 weeks shipping, that's fine, then 30 to 60 days shipping. That's ridiculously a lot of waiting time for the customers. Next, make sure the product comes with high quality images or videos. If you're doing clothing or anything where it requires a size, maybe shoes or anything of that sort, accessories, necklaces, let's just be sure to mention sizing if that product has anything to do with that. Now, ratings and reviews. These are two other things that I want to mention. And just because you see something that has 2,500 orders, that doesn't necessarily mean it's good. Kind of filter ratings and figure out what's good and what's not. Right here. 4.9 stars, that's a great rating. Anything below 4, I'm gonna be skeptical. But you can read these specific reviews left by people and just kind of scroll through it. Also, try to look for indications that the seller is a good communicator. Meaning, when the customer issues a problem, that seller responds real quick and addresses it. You would want to consider choosing that kind of supplier so you know that he'll help when you encounter a problem. Also, do check how many pieces are available for this item. If it's less than your prospect number, you can start communicating with the seller. Here's a sample you can follow if you want to contact supplier or the email template. You can say hi and then put your supplier name. I'm contacting you today in regards to your product and insert the product name. I have a few questions before we decide to cooperate. First question, what is the unit pricing for 1,000 pieces? It helps your supplier perceive that you are a serious buyer. More volume means more interest. Number two, what is the production capacity for this product? Because some suppliers might not have stocks. Number three, what is the pricing with express shipping for 1,000 pieces? It's important because the faster the products arrive, the faster you can make sales. Number four, can you provide samples? It will help you gauge if the supplier is good or not. And number five, do you have stock on hand? It will help you know the production time for more if you want to run into that. Maybe you have other questions in mind so you can add it to your inquiries. Also check daily orders on AliExpress Dropshipping Center. The product should be getting 5% to 10% of the total amount of orders a day. You just want to make sure to cross-reference in between a few different suppliers so you will be able to find the perfect one who will supply you products. Now that you have a niche, a product, and supplier, you would now put this on your Shopify store. But how do we actually put everything together? If you need help with that stuff, watch our other drop shipping tutorial for free and sign up on Shopify using the link below. If you're into scaling your drop shipping business and want to make it your full time job, check out an awesome drop shipping course in the link below. Again, please, if you found this video useful, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and like this video.